Hello viewers, welcome back to Easy Mathematics. We thank God for another wonderful opportunity to bring to you uh, the lesson that we started with in Basic 9. Without wasting my time, we want to continue with the relationship that is existing among uh, rational numbers in terms of intersection and union. Good. So let's just look at the first example for today. It's saying that if x is given as all the sets as prime numbers less than 13, y is all numbers less than 13, list the members of x and y and find x intersection y and x union y. So now we said that whenever you are being asked to list, we should know what the rational number is here. You have been asked to list the members that you have in x. And x are prime numbers less than 13. So here, first of all, we have to know what a prime number is. A prime number is a number that has only two factors, one and itself. So in finding the factors that are less than 13, we are going to have two, we have five, we have seven, we have 11, and we have 13, but because it says less than 13, then we are going to stop on left. So these are the first prime numbers or the prime numbers less than 13. And these numbers happen to be prime numbers because they have only two factors. Then you have y. y is odd numbers less than 13. Odd numbers less than 13. And what are odd numbers? Odd numbers are numbers that are not divisible by 2. They are odd numbers. So let's list odd numbers. With odd numbers, we have 1, we have 3, we have 5, we have 7, we have 9, we have 11, and we have 13. But since it is less than 13, then we are not going to include 13. Now, you should know that with the prime numbers, one is not a prime number because the factors of one is only one. And for a number to be a prime number, it should have only two factors, one and the number itself. So this gives us the prime numbers, which are less than 13, and this gives us the odd numbers, which are less than 13. Know that one is an odd number because odd numbers are numbers that are not divisible by two or that you can divide exactly by 2. So after listing them, you have been asked to find, you have been asked to find x intersection y. When we met and we introduced this, we said that when you are being asked to find x intersection or a number intersection something, it means what can you see here and also see here? What can you, oh oh, sorry. The prime numbers, we have three. We have three also. Sorry. So we have three as a prime number. We have five, seven, then eleven. Good. Good for prompting us. That's very good. So don't forget that three is a prime number because it has two factors. So we have two, three, five, seven, eleven. These are the prime numbers that we have, which happens to be less than. 13. So what are the common terms here? What do we have here and also have here? That becomes your intersection. So we have 3 here. So we just write it down. We also have 5. We also have 7. And we have 11. So these are the intersection. Okay. X intersection Y. What is in the X element and also in the Y element? We have 3 here, that is the intersection. We have 5 here, we have 7, we also have 11. That gives you the intersection. Then with the union, we said that the union is the putting the set together. Okay, when you put the set together, that gives you the union. So we are having this combined together. You have 1, you have 2, it should be in order 3. We have 5, we have 7, we have 9, and we have 
level. So the intersection is knowing what is in each element or each member, then writing it down. And the union is the combination or putting the two sets together. Now, you will notice that if you are listing the members and you don't list them correctly, it is going to affect your scores or your answer. Let me put it that way. So we should know the number we have been asked and quickly list the members. Now, let's go to example two. Example two is saying that given that P is equal to factors of 16, Q is equal to multiples of 4 less than 17, and R, we have whole numbers from 12 to 16. So here, we are going to list what has been asked. So I, the person is saying that I, we should list P, Q, R. So P, what is P? P is factors of 16. So let's just list the factors of 16. Factors of 16, we have 1, we have 2, we have 4, we have 8, and we have 16 itself. So these are the factors of 16. Then we go to Q. Q is saying multiples of 4, less than 17. So multiples of 4. We recite a 4 times table, 4, 1, 4. 4, 2, 8, 4, 3, 12, 4, 4, 16, 4, 5, 20. But because it is less than 17, we have to go according to what the person is saying. Less than 17. So we stop there. Then we have R. R is also saying that whole numbers from 12 to 16. Now whole numbers, we should know that whole numbers start from 0. Okay? Whole numbers they start from zero. Natural numbers start from one. But here you have been given a condition. It says whole numbers from 12 to 16. So that means you are going to start from 12. So 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Then you stop. So after listing the members of the set, what again are going to be asked to? I, I says, we are to list the members of P intersection Q. So I, I, P intersection Q. Where is P? This is P. This is Q. What can you see in P and see in Q? That gives you the intersection. So looking at it carefully, we can see 4, we can see 8, we can see 16. So P intersection Q is 4, 8, 16. Then we close our set. And we go to I, I, I. I, I, I is saying Q union R. Q union R. So Q union R. This is Q, this is R. What is union? Union is the combination of the two sets, combining the two sets together. So we have 4. We are going to write 4. We are going to write 8. Then we write 12. 13, 14, 15, and 16. That gives you the union. We are looking at the relationship that exists between, among these rational numbers under uh, intersection and union. And we said union is the combination of putting the two sets together. And intersection is the element that can be seen or found in both sets. Good. So if I've been able to find the union, or if I can find the union, I just need to put this set and this set together to get one set. So we have 4, 8, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And that gives you the word, the union. Then the I, I, the IV. The IV is saying you should list P union bracket of P intersection Q. Now, with this type of question, to get it, first find the one in the bracket, okay? So we have P intersection, let's find P intersection Q, sorry, P union. P union, this bracket. So let us solve for the bracket. That is P intersection Q. So this is P, this is Q, P intersection Q. And already we know P intersection Q which is 4, 8, 16. 
So let us write it as 4, 8, 16. Now this is the P intersection Q. Now here we have to find P union, the P intersection Q. And what is union? Union is combining them together. So we are going to say, looking at the P, we have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. And here we have 4, 8, 16. So the union there is going to give you, that is going to give you 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. We just take it, take it step by step by taking the one in the bracket first. Then we try to compare with this. Is it intersection? Is it union? Then we just do it as the question demands. So these ones are just simple when it comes to the union and intersection. They are very, very simple. All you need to do is to know what we are to list. Whether you are to list a whole number, an integer, or integers, odd numbers, prime numbers, even numbers, composite or factors of a number. That is what we need to know. And that helps you to know the relationship that exists among these rational numbers in terms of union and intersection. Now let's look at the last example for the day, which is very, very simple and brings us to the end of the lesson under these subscribe. So here, it says that if A is equal to, now if you look at the set here, the set has been given in a different way. That is called set builder notation. Sometimes they will not give you the set in a word description form. Okay, this one, we've just listed the set itself. But here it has been given to you in a word description form. Now with this one, you have been given the set in a set builder notation. Now whenever a set builder notation is given, we are going to concentrate on what X has been defined as and also the sign that you have there. The less than sign, the less or equal to sign that you have. We are going to take it into consideration. Now whenever you see the less or equal to, it means that when you are listing, we should bring this number or this number is included. And also, when you see the less than without the equal to sign attached, it means when you are listening, do not include the term. So assuming we were having something like this, then it means we will include the term when we are listening. But since there is nothing there like that, we are not going to include the term. The same thing, if there wasn't anything here, then it means do not include the two, do not include the term. But since you have linked it as less or equal to, then we are going to include the 2. So the person is saying that A is equal to 2 is less or equal to X less than 10. Where X is an integer, and we know that integers are positive and negative whole numbers. So if that being the case, then if I'm listing the set for A, then A is going to be, since X is an integer, and you have this as 2 is less or equal to, we will include the 2. It is an integer, so we are going to list it from 2 to 9, because we are not going to include the 10. So we have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We don't include 10 because it is less than 10. But if it was having the less or equal to, then we will include the 10. So a set can be given in a set builder notation form or in word description as we have done previously there. Then you have B. B is factors of 30 which are odd numbers. Factors of 30 which are odd numbers. Now, to be safe, let us try to list the factors of 30 somewhere and fish out the odd numbers. So, factors of 30, let's do it here. Factors of 30, we have 1, we have 2, we have 3, there is no 4, we have 5, we have 6, we have 10, we have 15, and we have 30. Now, this 
are the factors of 30. So we have this, 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 and that. Now, just fish out the ones that are odd numbers, and that gives you the B. So which one are odd numbers? The odd numbers, we have 2, 3, 5, 15. So the odd numbers, we have 2, we have 3, we have 5, and we have, sorry, 1. 1 is there. Don't forget 1 is an odd number. This one is causing trouble. 2, 3, 5, and 15. So these are prime factors, and sorry, these are factors of 30 that are what? Odd numbers. Once you are being given a condition, use the condition. It's very, very important that whenever the condition is given, we have to get and know that we need to use the given condition. It's very, very important. So this is factors of 30, which are odd numbers. So first list the odd numbers, the factors of 30 somewhere. Just list them somewhere. And after listing the factors of 30, just fish out the odd numbers. What are odd numbers? Numbers that are not divisible by 2. So we have 1. 1 is an odd number. Because we can't divide 1 by 2 exactly. 2 is not uh, 2 is not an odd number. Oh God, this thing is causing trouble. So we have 3, 5, uh, 15. So this should give you the factors that are not that are odd numbers. Okay. I apologize. We have it like that. So, uh, 1, 3, 5, 15. So, this is what we need. We don't need all the sets, all the factors of 15, no. We need the factors of 30, which are odd numbers. Which are odd numbers. And these are the factors of 15, which are what? Odd numbers. So after listing it, we continue by finding A intersection B. So A intersection B is what can be seen in B and also in A. So we can see 3, we can see 5. So the A intersection B is 3, 5. And that gives you the word, the intersection. Nicely drawn. Now sometimes... After finding the intersection, you may be asked to represent the information on a Venn diagram. We can also be asked to find A union B. To find A union B, we just combine the two. But the question is not asking or hasn't asked us to find A union B. But we can do that by just combining the two sets. And that gives you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 15. And that gives you A union B. But since the question hasn't asked for it, don't go find it. Else, you are not going to be marked. But the question is saying that, illustrate the information on a Venn diagram. Now, on a Venn diagram, we know what the diagram is. So let us just draw our circle, one overlapping the other, like that. Then we have it in a rectangle. In a rectangular shape or box, we have our universal here, which is U. Now the U is the A intersection B, uh, A union B. So we can just say 1, 2, dot, 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 15. Then we end it there. Now, one circle takes one set, so we can say this is A. The other circle takes the other set, which is B. Now we know that where the circles meet is the intersection. So what do we have there? We have 3, 5 at the intersection. So let's say comma at the intersection. Now, this set A, we have already written 3, we have already written 5. All that we've not written should come to this side. And that portion is the A only. So what do we have? We have 2, we have 4, we have 6, 7, 8, 9. Then when you come to B, We've already listed the 3, 5 because it happens to be intersection. What don't we have? We don't have 1, we don't have 15. 
And so we have been able to represent these informations on the Venn diagram, which sometimes we can or we may be asked to list the thing and represent it on the Venn diagram. And this is the relationship that exists among rational numbers in terms of union and intersection. Remember, we are just looking at the union and intersection. We've already introduced the union, we've already introduced the intersection. All we need to do is to know how to list the members when they are being given. We should know what our odd numbers are, prime numbers, even numbers, whole numbers, natural numbers, and also uh, prime or factors of a number. It's very, very important. Now, if you don't take care, whole numbers and natural numbers may confuse you or will confuse you, okay? But when it comes to whole numbers, know that whole numbers start from zero. Whole number, because zero is a whole number. Zero is a whole number. But natural numbers are the same as counting numbers, which start from one. Thank you for staying tuned. We'll come again, God willing, next time, and we'll be looking at, we'll be solving questions on Venn diagram for basic eight, and also for the basic nine students. Thank you for staying tuned. God bless you. Bye-bye.